Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I got this uh, leather paint, Amazon uh, Angelus, if that's how you say it. I wanted to make a video and show you how it comes out. I'm gonna paint the seats on the Hummer, Humvee. It's my second time using this uh, product. I did it before on the SUV I, I had, I was selling. It had some uh, stained leather seats. I think he ha had some moisture, some water on them, like moldy. He didn't really clean off, didn't come off. So I bought some black leather paint like this, leather dye. And uh, it did an actual nice job. So I'm gonna do it a second time and show you how it comes out and the process of how I do it. I'm gonna use a brush it's, uh, instead of a spray. So I saw a post on uh, Facebook Marketplace. A guy was selling actually seats for the summer. Really nice, I, but he wanted like hella money, like seven, eight thousand. Ridiculous. It had same style as mine, black, but it had like a brown inside here, like where these lines are. And here, up to here, like the brown inside, black on the outside. So, I like that idea. I'm going to give it a shot and see if I can make mine look like that. And I'll show you how it looks at the end. So, I'm going to start on the back seats. Test it out, make sure it looks to my satisfaction. If it doesn't, we'll think of something else. But uh, first things first, to get some uh, acetone, you wanna really degrease these seats. Good idea to wear gloves, like me. Degrease the seats on the area you're gonna paint, and it's also gonna make a nice uh, surface for bonding of the, the new paint. Kind of like when you paint the car, you want to scuff out the paint. This is the same kind of deal. So don't mind using uh, a little extra acetone just to get the whole surface really wet. It dries quick. So you want to really get the whole surface, okay? So now we're going to make sure it's this. we shake this up just in case. And we'll get at it with this big brush. Just give it a I guess it comes with a little small brush, like a touch-up, which we don't really need. Put it right here for now. Let's try it. So there's different colors you can buy, different names. This one's called Luggage Brown. There's like 10 different browns. We'll try this one, I think. It should look nice. Don't rush it, uh, make sure you know you do it right the first time. And we're gonna do two coats because as you can see, some black lines still show through. So we're gonna do one coat, two coats. Last time I bought this, it came with a four ounce bottle. This one's smaller, one ounce. I think it's the same price, 10 bucks a bottle. So I feel like I kinda got ripped off a little bit this time. So we'll see. Hopefully I got two bottles. Maybe a bottle per seat. If I need to buy some more, I'll order some on eBay. Uh, Amazon for the front. Front seats. And I'm guessing if you get some of this paint, some of this dye on the places you don't want it to go, you can always get a rag and a acetone and take it off. You can either try acetone or rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna go prep the other side while this dries. And we'll do the second coat in a minute or whenever it dries, maybe 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. It looks pretty dry. Not on top, but on the bottom looks pretty dry. I'm gonna, I did the other side first coat. I'm gonna do the second coat on this side now. I'm, uh, I'm done with the first bottle. So I guess I'll probably need to buy at least two more, maybe three. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Let's let it dry real good, maybe half an hour plus. We'll come back and maybe do a coat number three. We'll see how it looks. Uh, hey, while this is drying, I'm gonna try to secure my uh, fire extinguisher, bottom line, Amazon. I got a little uh, strap, mountain strap for those extinguishers. You, you see them on like jeeps and such people put them on the back on the frame on the roll bar so i think i'm gonna secure it here on the bottom let's test it out
I think we're good. Looks kind of cool. Out of the way. Because the doors uh, stay open most of the time when I go out. So hopefully nobody steals it. That way it's not uh, too visible, I guess. But it's still here. Pin is in there. Straps are solid. It doesn't really move much. I can always tighten them more. I guess that's cool. Just in case, you never know. I'm going to go wash my hands. Right, as you can see, still drying, but the edges are kind of messed up in a lot of places. I paint my kids' nails better than this. So I don't know if taping was such a great idea or should I just do it without tape? Maybe I'll try the front, door, front seats without taping the edges. Just going carefully, slowly around the edges. So I'm gonna get a rag and some acetone, try to get these edges cleaned up. So I cleaned up the edges, looks a lot nicer. Wet rag, fold it and roll the edges. You can also pull back the crevices just to open it up, get deep in there, but looks sick, still drying. I gotta buy a few more, at least three more, two for the front and then I'll just, I think I'll do a third coat on top just to kind of cover all these black lines. See there's a black line right here, if you can see. And let me show you the other side. So far, I like it. I'm gonna also, uh, once I do the front, I'm gonna wait like a week or two so I can drive on it, sit on it, use the seats, and see how long it lasts, how durable it is. See, I'll touch up the edges here a little later once I get more paint with a small brush. And it should look pretty nice. See, without it, with it. Looks cool, kind of matches the truck color. Me gusta. Hey, so it's been a few weeks, maybe at least two weeks or more. I finished all the seats brown, as you can see, but they're very shiny, which is I don't, something I don't mind. But the issue is they're sticky. Like, if you know, like the, the fresh paint feel. Of course, I don't have paint on my hands, but like that, like a sticky feel. So like sometimes when I have dust or something flying around, like hair and whatever, bugs, I see like they kind of get stuck here, sticky. And when I sit or my wife, we can see like lines of the jeans and whatever just kind of get stuck and sticky. And I have like a t-shirt that just got just sticky. So what I done, Amazon, we got this guy. It's like a clear coat for leather, same brand, Angelus. There's four different options like uh, gloss, satin, flat, and something else. But anyways, I got satin. There's the different pictures with examples of what each looks like. So now I applied this clear coat uh, to my seats. Yeah, it's not shiny anymore, but actually I do like it. it. Turned out pretty good. I just put it on like a couple hours ago, so it's still a little bit like maybe glossy wet, but it does match because these are super shiny where the brown is, but black is not as shiny. So kind of like a little odd, sends out, you know, not too bad, but still throws out. But these kind of blend in and match and it looks good and it's not sticky anymore. I only put it around like two hour, uh, hour or two ago. So it's still smooth, not sticky. No hair is gonna fall on it and dust and get stuck on it. I haven't done, well, actually I did do, do this seat just now. I got my light here. So I done these two seats, driver's side, passenger side, I have not done, as you can see, it's shiny, glossy. So that is sticky. This is smooth, smooth. So I think this is the only option you gotta go. If you get paint your leather seats, you gotta put a clear coat on it because I didn't know about it, but now I do. And uh, I'll give it some time, a couple of days to dry, do all the seats and uh, you know, put, put my butt on it, drive it a few days, weeks and let you know the update. Okay guys, uh, final results. It's been maybe two weeks since I put the clear coat on. And this is what we got, the outcome. Let me show you what the seats look like and then you guys be the judge yourself. And I'll tell you what I think about it.
So it's the driver's seat right here. The back, that's the back driver. If you can see, I think you can. That's what it looks like. Let me show you the other side. There's the passenger side back. Put a wide angle so you can see the whole thing. I put about three, four coats of clear coat on it. There's the driver, uh, passenger front. What you guys think? And there's all four. Not too bad, huh? I like it. So... I'll just tell you kind of a recap what I've done and what I think. So now basically it feels smooth. It's not sticky, it kind of blends in. Black with the brown. Smooth, you know, I just sit on that, drove it for a week or two. Sit on it. No scratches, nothing like that. It doesn't look perfect. I see some like line marks here, as you can see, a darker spot. So when, I, when you're putting the clear coat on, make sure, try to kind of do it quick. And cover all the surface you know kind of quick because if this dries and this is still wet this might have a little different shade like that so that's i think if i take like put, do another coat of a clear coat quick all over the whole thing it might kind of blend this in more but i'm gonna leave it for now as this it's fine i don't really care don't mind maybe eventually i'll touch it up and anyways, the issue I was also having when I was putting the clear coat on, I covered it, you know, next day came out and I saw like white lines where the stitches are. It was just like white lines. So I was like, the heck, weird. Maybe the clear coat just kind of pulled up there for like more than it needs to. So I just, uh, I took the, the old uh, brown paint, covered those lines white, covered, covered the white lines, make it brown again, let it dry, covered the clear coat again and then next morning again they were white so what i did i just took the 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 brown got a very thin narrow uh brush and i just kind of just covered the stitches itself brown without the clear coat and then it, it was fine so that's what it looks like i think here on the side you can see the the white line here no big deal i guess basically i did the uh, let me show you the paint and uh clear coat about four coats each so there is this guy the paint and the clear coat make sure when you're buying because what i did is i first about the one ounce i did the back seats uh and then later i ordered this because i need more the four ounce bottle like same name same color luggage brown and then what I noticed is the the first, like this small little guy was a different shade of brown. It was light brown. And these came out a little darker. So when you're ordering, make sure you get a little extra from one bottle. Because if you keep ordering different bottles, it might have a different shade of color. So that's that. And I ordered a four ounce of clear coat. All on Amazon, just type in English, same spell, and get your stuff there. There's a bunch of different colors. Okay. So that's that result, looks cool, looks sick, matches the truck. I love it, looks kinda cool, fancy. But hey guys, I got a question. So I think what I wanna do is paint these doors orange to match. So matching, let me know in the comments should I do orange doors like these, uh, match the whole truck or keep it black? My wife says she wants to keep it black like that, but I think the orange would look more proper and cooler and nicer. Let me know. But thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That was some kind of useful information. And uh, stay tuned. Check out the other videos. And uh, see you later.